Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you one of the new changes uh, that is in QuickBooks 2012. Uh, it's enterprise only, so you do have to have enterprise to make this change, um, but it's very neat. It has to do with the cost and sales price of your items. So now we have the ability up here under Edit and Preferences, and then we click on Items and Inventory and our company preferences, and we have the ability down here to automatically cost and and automatically change the cost and price, okay? So if an item cost changes on a purchase, what do you want to do? Always update, never update, ask about updating. When an item cost changes, um, ask about updating here. And do you wanna do a markup percentage over cost or do you wanna do amount over cost? Now, most businesses do percentage markups, uh, but this again is just a default. So when you create a new item, this is what it's gonna default to. However, when you actually go into each individual item, you can, you can edit that. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new item here. We're gonna to go to our items list and go down to new item. And we're gonna do an inventory. Well, first, before I do an inventory part, let me show you. So services here, notice that there's no markup field. However, if I make it a double-sided item by checking this box in the middle, there's the markup. So you can have the markup automatically come in. Uh, you can do the same thing for non-inventory parts once you check that box, other charges. Uh, so you can do that, make that change across the board. But we'll go ahead and do an inventory part. So I'm going to say a new inventory part. I'm going to have the cost in here of $10. Hits cost of goods sold. The markup for now is going to be $100, 900% markup. It's kind of nice. I'm going to say it's non-taxable. And the income account it hits is materials income. And then notice I have this edit markup screen here again. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit markup. So we can say the type of markup if it's a percentage over cost or amount over cost. Now, if you leave it as use default, if you ever go in and change the default, it's going to change the item. So make sure that if you know it's always percent over cost, you might as well change it. Okay, so cost is $10, sales price is $100 markup. Then down here, we always can say, we can say always ask about updating the price too. Now these fields aren't available for importing yet. I'm assuming they will be available soon, uh, but not currently. Um, so you would have to go into each individual item and edit it uh, if you want to use these, if you have an existing file. So let's go ahead and say okay here. All right, so now we're going to go in and we're just going to enter a bill, straight enter a bill so that we can get that part in here. So we're going to say, what did we call it, part A change. And it pre-fills in for us the cost. So I'm going to say I received 10 and the new cost was $20. Okay, right away it pops up, it gives me the ask feature. So it says your current cost is $10, your new cost is $20. Do you want to update the item record with the new cost? So I'm gonna say yes. And then once I say I'm gonna update the item record, that means the cost field on the item is gonna change. So I say yes here, it tells me also your current sales price is $100, which is a nine. 100% markup. So if you want to change the price to keep the, the markup the same, your, your price is going to have to change to $200 per. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And then from this screen, you can say never update the cost for this item if you want to. And you can also go straight into the edit market screen here. I'm going to go ahead and say OK and save this. So now when I go to my items list and I open up that part A change, notice it changed for me. The cost is now $20 per item and the sales price is $200 per item. Okay, so that is how to set the automatic uh, cost and price adjustment.